Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet Ben's Hall video. So yesterday I went to the Nashville, Tennessee outlet in, well there's two locations. I went to the one that's closest to me. It opens at nine o'clock. I did actually get there when they open and there was a typical line, but I went ahead and waited in it. Normally I don't do that. Went in and it was a Monday. I don't normally go to the bins on Monday, so I wasn't ex knowing what to expect in there. I had all the bins already been gone through from the last night and everyone was going to wait around to put out new bins. But it seemed like a lot of the bins were new or didn't have a lot of things missing from them. Um, and so one of the bins I found myself in, I was finding all this great stuff and they started rolling it away. And I thought, why did they do that? There's so many you know, things still in here that people want. I mean, I had gotten like a ton of items already out of just that one bin. And so I felt like chasing it down, but I didn't. So I am gonna split this up into a couple parts and um, let, pretty much three parts, I think. I am gonna go to the bins next week as well. So, you know, continued bin series for me. Uh, those are my favorite, but I am gonna just get started here. I had a great day. I I got a total of 118 pounds this day for a total of $59 each time through. I went through the bins twice and it was weird. I had 59 pounds each time at $1.49 a pound. So just keep that in mind when I do pick up these items. That is what I am kind of guesstimating. I also do not check comps a ton in the bins unless it's something that weighs a little bit more that I don't want to chance or something I definitely just, I'm not sure if I want to bring home. But the cell phone service in there is questionable at best, and it takes a long time to get either eBay or Poshmark to load to look at comps. So I often just go with my gut and hope that it'll sell for $15 and I'll still make a profit on it. But um, the time it would take me to comp check every item, I could be buying more items and finding more gems. So that's it. Let's sh just get into it. So the first piece is not that exciting. It's Kirkland, which is the Costco brand. It's just a short sleeve gray. It's a cashmere sweater. This is just to go in the cashmere loft that I put together. I have one um, up and listed right now. And I basically just lot together cashmere. I feel like cashmere is a cool fabric. I'm going to maybe try to lot together some wool pieces too, but people use them for crafting. So I just lock them together. I just hate for things like that to go to the landfill um, because it's a natural, you know, animal fiber. And I don't know. I did see uh, a rabbit fur vest. I didn't know the brand. It was kind of cable knit with rabbit fur on it. And I thought, I'm not, a, I don't buy fur. I'm not a believer in necessarily raising animals to use for their fur. But if something's vintage or it's already been created and going to go to a landfill, I would prefer it get a second life. <laughs> that I do have like a vintage like overcoat with these crop sleeves, super cute, it has a fur collar, but it's not like a full mink coat from 2023. So um, it did have a couple holes in it and I just didn't want to bring it home as a project. And then I kind of felt bad afterwards because I thought, man, that rabbit gave his life and now He's, no one's gonna enjoy it again. Okay, enough of my soapbox. This is the brand Pole, P-O-L. As far as I know, this is just a boutique brand. It tends to resell okay for me. I have pretty good sell through on it. This is a size small, um, but it's oversized. I mean, I could fit into this. It's this pink button front jacket in this raw hem with this pink and this darker pink on the outside, flat pockets. It's basically, it's a shacket. It's just a lighter weight shacket. This is perfect for spring. So I need to get that listed. i toss some things behind me. This is the brand Sincerely Jewels. You will see this all the time at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I did pick up a star print um, chenille. It feels like Barefoot Dreams, basically, top. I'm sure it was part of a pajama set or a lounge set. I listed it as just a sweater. I mean, I noted that it probably came that way. This is a zebra print one. This is not going to sell for a lot, but I thought it was really cute and soft. And I do not put in my listings, like feels just like Barefoot Dreams, because then if someone is searching for Barefoot Dreams, it could take them to my listing and I don't want to do that. I know some people do. I 
to each their own. However, sesame, I do. So I, in my last listing, I just put like B R F D R M S, just so they knew kind of what it felt like, but they would never come up with that searching. <laughs> Hopefully they got my code. Okay, this is the brand Soft Surroundings. This is an extra large. This is a purple, like periwinkle, lavender colored, long sleeve tunic top with these roll tab sleeves. And it has these sort of bejeweled buttons down the front. It's a great lightweight top. This would be really cute um, for spring or Easter. And it is 100% cotton. So great, I like soft surroundings, uh, especially in ex like the large and up sizes. I will purchase something if it's super cute in a smaller size, but not always. This I bought for style. This is Active USA. This is a field jacket, utility jacket in this brown color with a fuzzy on it. Um, and it's just a zip front cotton jacket. I am going on a trip here next month and was looking for a specific quilted like utility jacket, field jacket or non quilted. And there's definitely a market out there for that. It's pretty on trend it looks like for spring of this year, maybe not in brown, but that's a great lightweight piece for somebody. I don't know where that brand is sold. I think I see it at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross. You know, the trifecta of home goods. Uh, this is American Eagle Outfitters. This is an older tag. This is a size extra large. I feel like the skirt was from 2016 maybe. No, 2011. I was close. Uh, what's a couple years? Anyway, this so this skirt is a little bit older but it's a chambray skirt. It's got this fun embroidery on the front in this red, white, and blue. So this would be a cute 4th of July skirt. It's got an elastic pull on waist and it is embroidered around the whole base on the back and the front. So who cares if something is a few years old if it's still a cute piece. Okay, this one, this is one that I threw in my cart and didn't check because I forgot. It wasn't that I wasn't going to, it's was just, I was excited about something else and threw me on it. This is just a navy dress with this heavy embroidery in this color, color coral at the neckline and at the base. And it's just, it's a cute dress. It has the RN number inside, not at the neckline. Um, and it didn't have a size. So I thought, okay, well, if it doesn't have a size and it's a great brand, then I'll bring it home. If it is nothing brand and doesn't have a size, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> well, guess what? I brought it home, but I show the good, the bad, and the ugly here. So I can't remember who this brand was. Some boutique -y brand. I think this is about a size medium. Ooh, they probably call this a large. And I, I don't know any more information about that. So I'll probably just... If it's in good condition, I will just go ahead and list it as is and figure out what the brand name is and put measurements in it and list it for 10 or 15 bucks just to get it sold because I do think it's a cute piece with a lot of potential. All right, what are you? This is the brand Muir Muir or Murmur. <laughs> Muir Muir is how I assume it's pronounced. It's a size small. I feel like I picked this brand up once before and I don't know what the resale was on it, but I just thought this piece was cute. It's a knit top. It has this lace overlay with a V-neck and these bell sleeves with a lace insert. And then the back also has a lot of detail. There's a lot of embroidery on the front as well. So this was something that I picked up and I just had a feeling about it. I don't know. I do that sometimes. It's a size extra small. The brand is Saltwater Lux and it says it designed in Los Angeles, made in China. I just felt like it had something to it. This fabric is really nice. It's like a stretch terry almost and it's a long tunic top with a stripe and then the back has this cut out and crossover detail. It's almost like a mini dress cover up. The comps on their products were pretty good. Um, and of course, as always, I'll have been putting comps up along the way on these items so that you know what I'm expecting or hoping to get for them. Um, I usually price middle of the road on comps unless it's a piece that I really don't want to sell. I will say 
um, that a couple of videos ago, I had this needle point pillow. It was a bunny pillow that sold within a day of listing it on eBay for full price of $49.99. It weighed, I think two pounds. So I would have paid $3 for it at the bins. And I picked that up out of a, no one wanted that pillow. And it was a fabulous wool pillow with a bunny seam, perfect for the spring. The ha um, buyer was super happy with it and we're excited to have it with them. It actually was missing a tassel on it, but it was on the bottom where you wouldn't notice it. And it was a great pillow. And when I got home and saw that the comps were like $50 for those, I listed it high and it sold within a day for full asking price. So you can't get better than that right away. Here's Pole again, P-O-L. This is a size large. This is a V-neck crushed velvet, like peach or tan or I'm gonna call it peach. It's on the pink side. Um, taupe <laughs> colored, just a t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt, velour t-shirt. So it's kind of casual, but it has a little bit of pop of something, something. All right, this is the brand Spiegel. If you were my age or older, you probably remember the Spiegel catalog that came out. And I feel like the Spiegel catalog had, half of it was Spiegel, and then you turned it over and then upside down and then started from the back with a different catalog. Like it had two different sub brands or something. I can't remember what the other brand was on there. I loved looking through the Spiegel catalog. It always had fun, fabulous stuff. So this to me, I mean, brand, I don't even think they're in business anymore. This is a vintage piece. This is Spiegel. It's a Missy size seven or size small. It's 70% lamb's wool, 20% Angora rabbit hair, 10% nylon made in Hong Kong. So for that, it has very good fabric content. It's vintage. It's a button front cardigan with this collar and it's a mixed print of animal prints. So it's very soft. It has just a slight amount of pilling on it that I could see at the bins and that I can just easily take care of with my sweater shaver. These, I mean, obviously some fabrics just pill in general because they're hair. <laughs> but um, it's in pretty good condition. And uh, with Made in Hong Kong, I assume it's at least like the 80s, maybe early 90s. So anyway, I thought that was fun and decided to bring that home. This is the brand Torrid. This is a size five. So in their sizing, that is a 5X. I don't often find four, five, and I think that they go up to um, six in Torrid sizing. I don't often find the, the extended sizes, but this is a great size. This is a perfect piece for spring and summer. It is a halter almost um, cut out with this animal print. It's like a cheetah, snow leopard. Someday I'll learn all my animals. And it has this little metal keyhole cut out accent there. It's just a long, flowy tank top in a great size and a fun print. I am drawn to animal print. I do not, I've said it before, I do not wear animal prints, but I am for sure drawn to it and um, like to list it because people do like wearing animal prints. Okay, I just noticed a flaw on this. So this is Umji size medium. Umji's really hit or miss, but they have cute patterns. This is a super cute pattern. It's a long bell sleeve top and this floral and kind of like a baby doll top. It has a keyhole back on it. But I just was seeing that the it has a hole in the armpit. So I may be able to stitch that shut. Their stuff does not usually have stretch. It's usually like rayon or cotton, but um, we'll see if I find that that's worth fixing. This is the brand Promisa, I assume, Promisa, <laughs> Promisa. It's a size medium. This is a mini dress and it is 70% cotton, 30%, no, 70% polyester. 70% cotton, 30% polyester. And it's just a little sundress. It has this kind of tortoiseshell-esque button vertical stripes it's just a mini dress buttons all the way down adjustable spaghetti straps very cute 
cute. I just picture someone wearing like a chunky pair of like those, the Doc Martin sandals. I can't think of what they're called. Um, with that, just looking nice and cute with their big sunnies. <laughs> okay. This is the brand Perfect Peach made in Mexico. I threw this in my cart thinking I would look it up again. I did not. I just think it's got this kind of 70s mod look to it, I guess. Like someone would wear as a wedding dress in the 70s, like my mom's wedding dress in the 70s. It is a cream with metallic threading through it. It's got a bit of a puff sleeve, a higher neck to it, and it's got pockets and then it just goes down. It's a mini dress. So honestly, this would be a cute winter bachelorette party or bridesmaid or br bridal shower dress. Um, it is not worth anything. I couldn't even find the brand, I don't think, but I went ahead and brought it home. Okay, this is the brand um, Staring at Stars, and it's a cotton acrylic blend. It's a size extra small, maybe. Just a small, Staring at Stars, which is Urban Outfitters. And, but I got it because it's a lightweight cardigan. It's a little bit longer line. It's got that pocket in the front and it kind of I don't know where's the comes in a little bit I can't think of what that kind of just a cardigan a slouchy cardigan like a collegiate looking kind of thing cardigan so I went ahead and grabbed it all right this is the brand Dolan it says Dole you can barely see it in there um I feel like Dolan left coast or something is an anthropology brand this does not have an anthropology number on it it's D Dolan t-shirt made in Los Angeles, extra small. This is cool though, it's kind of a mixed media. I guess this is almost like a mini dress. I mean, it's not, but it could be if you were short. It's three quarter length sleeves, it's a gray knit body. And then it has this mm, tan peachy colored lace crochet overlay. Just a different kind of look to it and it was in good condition so it's like a sweatshirt but not it's a rayon polyester blend and dry clean only who are they kidding uh, that is not going to happen i did not this one did not get laundered it was like it smelled good and looked really clean so i didn't want to mess with it okay i have to do a little research on this this brand I looked up when I got home. The brand is Lulu Simon Studio. It's a size medium. This is a tiger. This is a leopard with a Ziggy Stardust is what it reminds me of. But it has a lightning bolt through the um, head. And I looked this brand up. Their t-shirts retail like in the 50 and up range. I couldn't find one that was heavily distressed with this graphic. So I just need to look into it. It is distressed. Um, I don't know if that's manufactured or if someone just went ahead and distressed it, but I am going to sell it as is. I did not find this exact graphic. So I'm gonna do Google Lens search later on. It's a size medium. The comps on these were pretty decent, like maybe 20, $25. So we will see what happens after I find out more about that shirt. I did pick up quite a few sweaters this day. Um, you're gonna be thinking like as we go through these hauls the next couple times, you're gonna be like, why are you buying so many sweaters? It's almost April and, or it could be April by the time this goes up. Um, and summer's coming. However, A, I sell on eBay, which is international shipping. So I could go to Australia where it's going to be winter soon. But B, I just list things year round. By the time fall rolls around, I'll be listing this stuff in like August, September, or relisting it. I'll list it now, but I will relist it then. And that's when you're going to want to be starting to source those things. And then you don't find them all the time. So in the Goodwill stores, my stores here do not carry sweaters year round. Um, and then at the bins, you know, you're going to see more sweaters this time of year. I got a ton of shorts in the winter. So it's just off season items but I don't have a problem with that. It's warm in this country. If you live in Florida, you could wear shorts year round and parts of the South, so, or Southern California. Uh, so I'm not hesitant to list things year round. Now this, 
is a holiday piece for Christmas. So it is definitely seasonal. But it's fun. I, I have a hard time leaving behind ugly sweaters or grandma sweaters or, you know, festive sweaters. This is Designer's Original Studio Joy. It's nothing fabulous. Just a 1X sweater. It is um, got skates on there and a snowman. He was a little pilly and he had to pill, depill him a little bit. But there were just a few things, you know, different patterns on the front. It's got the spo fur neck, high neck line in this red sweater so just a fun fun piece for winter i picked up a couple ugly sweaters actually when i had to stain treat so it's still in the mix of being seen. this was a uh, interesting day of finding just random assortment of things all right this i threw in my cart it was new with tags and it said tactical hoodie so i was like all right we'll get it it's bear skin. It has a picture of a bear, but it's spelled B-A-E-R, um, S-K-I-N. And this is a tactical hoodie. It is a gray fleece in a, what size was this? A size extra large. It has a place for patches, um, all sorts of pockets. And this hoodie, new with tags on eBay, is selling between $50 and $70. So... I grabbed it. So it was a good pickup. And that fleece, even though it's bulky, hardly weighs anything. So that's a good find. All right. This is Zara Woman. It's a size US 4. It's acrylic polyester wool. And it is a little tweed plaid blazer jacket with three buttons and some front slip pockets. It is lined. And it's just a real cute jacket. It's got you could wear this in the spring easily and with a nice pop of color underneath. It has some academia vibes. So I do put that word dark academia, light academia in all my listings that are anything plaid basically that you could, could wear to school um, or as a professor or whatnot. I don't know if that helps it sell, but that's kind of how I think of those items as being. This is Talbot's size medium. This is a fabulous cardigan it's a v-neck cardigan buttons down it's a lighter weight has that fair isle scandinavian nordic look to it it's and then the light gray it's acrylic nylon and spandex and so you know i thought did i want to get it because it hadn't didn't have any wool in it but then i thought some people are allergic to wool so this might be a good option for them and it was in there's no pelling on this it is in very good condition. There's one little mark here on the um, sleeve that I just need to wipe off. Looks like just a surface mark. All right, on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, you may have seen this brand. I feel like that's where I see it advertised. The brand is Cider. This is a size medium. I picked this up because I've, I've kind of wondered about the brand. They sell clothing on, you click on the link from Facebook and go to their website. I've never really heard anything about the quality of their clothing. So I thought, okay, I'll grab this sweater. So this is just a boxy V-neck sweater with a collar in this black and it's creamish uh, stripe to it. It feels pretty well made. And the comps on them are pretty good. Um, maybe like 20 to $30. And did it have an inside tag? That is the question. I think it might've been cut out. It feels like a cotton blend. So I may have to look on their website to see what this one is made of. They had, I found some that were striped, reverse striped, like white with black stripes. So anyway, I wanted to pick it up to test it out because I have never found um, that brand before. And I've been curious. All right, this is a great pickup. This is J. Crew size medium. It is a gray sweater with this fun button detail at the neck. It's a boxier fit, super soft, a little staticky right now. This is new from 2021, I think. Holiday 2021. It's acrylic wool, alpaca, and polyamide. So it is new with tags. These were comping, this exact sweater was like comping between $35 and $40 online at this moment. So 
Obviously, we're getting into the not so good season for that. However, once fall hits, that will be a great piece as well. Hopefully, someone will snap that back uh, right up. I love J. Crew stuff, so um, can't leave that behind. Newest tags? No. All right, this is Talbot's Petite. It's an eight petite. If it's been like a two petite. I may not have brought it home, but I did like the tweed look to it. It's kind of an orange, purple, pink tweed. So this has, you could wear this in the spring, summer, or fall really. And it's just a knee length uh, sheath dress with a little bit of pleating at the bust and at the hips. It's lined and in very nice condition. So I went ahead and grabbed that. It's a poly rayon blend. It is an older piece. It was from 2013, but it's a classic style. So, okay, this I grabbed. This is so soft. This feels like Barefoot Dreams, which retails for a lot of money. Um, I brought it home thinking, oh, maybe it's some other like little boutique brand. It has snowflakes on it. Super cozy, but it had a tag and I didn't say who the tag was. Um, so I looked up the RM when I got home. It's just Walmart. But so I'm probably just going to keep this for myself. This is extremely soft and cozy. Um, or I may just give it away as a gift with purchase. I have a bazillion scarves. Okay, this is where if you are professional at this game and know what this is, you can tell me. Uh, it is an apron, obviously, and it needs to be steamed. It has little pockets here. It's made of little doily kind of lace look to it. It's got a little um, tie at the waist, so it's like a half apron. When I saw these, like a hostess apron, um, people were listing them as sexy. I don't really think this is sexy, but uh, it is floral. These had seemingly good comps on it. I've seen these before at the bins and I didn't pick them up. So, <clears throat> but it does look like a hanky has been sewn together and made into a apron. So if you know what this is, please tell me. Right, so I'm going to list it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right, this I picked up is a vintage sweater. It's called Y Oaks, W-Y-E Oaks, made in the USA. Um, it is a long line. Whoo, look at that, gold and silver and black metallic sweater. It's got a lot going on. This is a perfect funky New Year's sweater and I think it's great. It's total, it gives me like 80s, total 80s vibes to it. Um, there was no fabric tag in it and I don't know what it is made of. It feels like just acrylic probably. There's a few loose little metallic threads that I need to trim off, but I think it's super fun. And um, I think this is about a size medium large. I think it should be worn kind of maybe oversized and slouchy. But, you know, those are, I love picking up funky vintage stuff. It might take seven years to sell. However, that doesn't stop me because I just think that it deserves a second chance at life. Have you ever seen the movie 200 Cigarettes? Um, it's like a New Year's Eve party. I just somehow picture that being a part of that. Okay, this is Saks Fifth Avenue, The Works. The tag says made in Italy. It's a size medium and it's 100% merino wool. This is, it's a vintage sweater. You can see there and there's the made in Italy tag right there. This is in really actually good condition, but it is a, Merino wool sweater with this collar detail. It has kind of an RBG look to it. Um, and you go down to the cuffs. It's got details as well. And then the back of the neckline. And it's just a black sweater. But with this fun embellishment. So went ahead and grabbed that. This is fun. This is... Um, I can barely read it. It's knitted and knotted, which is an anthropology brand. 
And this is a size small, I think this is 100% cotton, let me double check. I'm sorry, it's a cotton modal silk blend. And it is a blue cardigan with this open knit in the front with this pom-pom detail. And there's the back. It does have a tie at the waist, so you can tie it in the back and just leave it, or you could probably wrap it. I don't know, I need to look up the style exactly. But this is a perfect lightweight so sweater for spring, and it was just really cute. I, I've i only found maybe knitted and knotted one other time. It's just not a brand we find around here. I think there is an anthropology store in Nashville, but and of course I find free people, anthropology, all those fun brands around here, but that's not one of the sublines that I find very often. Okay, this I picked up, it is Fabletics. It is a size 3X and it still has the pull tag on it, which is some sort of miracle. I should have gone and gotten a lottery ticket after this. This is a Sherpa, boxy Sherpa zip up jacket in a cream oatmeal color with this green, like army green, olive green contrast trim and zipper. It's in very good condition. It's kind of like a boucle is what it feels, it feels like, like a boucle knit, but it's like a Sherpa. Very good condition, no signs of wear, and has the full tag still, so that was fabulous. I like Fabletic stuff, but I hate when you find it and there's no, um, Pull tag or size. This is the brand Relativity. No clue where it's sold. It is wool, acrylic, nylon, polyester, made in Hong Kong. And it says machine washed separately, which is interesting because it does need to be washed. It had a little bit of like discoloration around the neckline. I got this. I don't know anything about the brand. I just got this. This is a giant full zip. Like, there we go. Sweater, poncho fringed blanket thing. <laughs> it is like a full on poncho. You are gonna be cozy in this, but I thought it was really cute. It does have, um, it just drapes over your side. There's no armholes. And I just felt like this was a good piece. This is substantial. It weighs several pounds, maybe even three. Would I have normally, I, I kind of thought I might wear it for myself. I think it's just a one size, but I may just wash it and list it. Um, I thought that it was a cute piece. What is this? Oh, this is the other, <laughs> I wonder where this went. This is the last piece out of this haul, which is not the most exciting thing to end on, I guess, but it's J. Crew size small. It's 100% cashmere. I threw it in my car. It's linty. I don't like bringing home linty things or hairy things. It just drives me crazy. 100% cashmere from the fall of 19. And I threw it in my cart to get delinted, listed as a black v-neck cashmere sweater. Super soft. As we know, cashmere sometimes gets holes. And so if it had a hole in it, I was going to just throw it in my cashmere lot. If not, I'll go ahead and list it. It does say I can hand wash this and it does feel like it is still small. So anyway, that's the story on this piece. I couldn't find it. It must have been wrapped up with one of these other sweaters. That is it. That's the first part of this haul. If you are interested in seeing the second part, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell to be notified when I post my next video, which will be Friday at 7 p.m. Central time as always. And thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.